Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? It's your boy, the Ghetto Ogifer, aka Pastor Tech, coming back at you with another unboxing. And today we're going to be unboxing this puppy right. Hold on. Ah. ah, this puppy right here, guys. I've been saving up. I finally got me a new laptop. Um, and this is the Lenovo. Um, Legion Slim 5 16 inch gaming laptop. Now, as you already know, as you see the red sticker here, I got this from Best Buy, and this is an open box. And this open box, I save close to $700, guys. I paid under $900 for the Lenovo. Now, this is the 2023 um, variant. So, before we go to the unboxing, let's get to some of the specs, guys. This is the Legion Slim. This is the Legion Slim 5 16 inch gaming laptop. With it says it has a WQXGA Ryzen 7 78. 40H8 with 16 gigabytes of memory and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 8 gigabytes with a 512 SSD. Now, the, the, the WQXGA that means um, it, it means widescreen ultra extended graphics array. Um, specifically, it has um, specifically, it has a resolution of 1920 pixels horizontally, horizontally by 1,200 pixels vertically. It offers high quality visual, suitable for various tasks from professional design work to gaming. So it's supposed to be a kind of enhance. So that's what that is. So let's get into some other stuff. This is the 2023 variant is the storm gray color. It is a LCD IPS display. We already heard 16 inches. It is 2560 by 1600. No touch screen. Refresh rate is 165 hertz. It has 300 nits of brightness. Um, the, um, the, the CPU base clock frequency is 3.8 gigahertz it can boost up to 5.1 gigahertz 8 core 16 threads um and like i said it is the memory is expandable so why don't we go ahead and get to the eagle eye view but before we get to eagle eye view guys do me a favor please like share and subscribe okay guys do me a favor please like share and subscribe and please give us a thumbs up thumbs up to help us get deeper into the youtube algorithm so more so more people can see see the video get alert that there's a video so without further ado guys let's go ahead and get into the eagle eye view we're in the eagle eye view and i'm not gonna turn this around because my table is kind of small but I do got a new unboxing knife today. So we got this, the blue, I don't know what I'm gonna call it, little blue, but yes, we have a new unboxing knife and there you go, look at that. Nice, guys, a little something sweet. Let's go ahead and unbox this thing. Like I said, this is an open box. Here we go. Okay. Hold on. What's going on here? Okay. Here we go. All right. So let me put this up. So I won't cut myself. And let's get to the unboxing. Okay. Now, guys, there's nothing wrong with getting an opened item. Because guess what? Times are hard. And you got to save dough. That. Mm. 
here we go. So this is the, that's the Storm Gray. I'm just messing up my table. Storm Gray, that's how that look, guys. Sorry for shaking the mic. That's how that looks. And we have the actual charger, um, the, the power bank, I say charger. Now, I know for a fact that this gray thing did not come with this, so most likely they lost it or the person that brought it back didn't have it, so it still fits. So I never seen a gray cord, but hey, it is what it is. Let's, let's undo this. Two hundred and thirty watt power brick. This is how the power brick looks. Two hundred thirty watts. Go, and I'm gonna tell you, it didn't come with this, but hey, as long as it fit and as long as it worked, we good. So there you go. And this is how this looks. I'm gonna get a little closer, guys. All right, here we go, guys. Before we get to the ports, I'm just going to open it up. The keyboard. This is an on and off button up here. We have the camera here. I'm guessing that's the microphone for the camera. This does not have Windows Hello, so it's not that type of camera, but you have... You know, I like the fact that it has number keyboard up here and has up top some of them are not coming with this number place right here so I'm pretty good keyboard I guess it's okay feels like every other keyboard to me again I don't know much about computers so this is just an unboxing let's get to the ports now we have on the side there's two side port we have a USB two USB C and then it says US Pro Power. And we have the, the headphone and mic combo jack right there. Now, both of these can be used for display ports as well. But this one is also, you can charge up your device using a um, USB, I think 140 watt um, plug has to go in here. So we will test that out. And we have this other USB-C port right here. Both of these are display ports, so you can use um, you know, either one to, to for another monitor. You have these back here. You have this is where the plug goes. This is where the plug goes right here, so that goes in there. You have Ethernet right here. You have your HDMI, and these two are USB um, um, 3.2 Gen. It's pretty good. And on this side, you have your card reader. And I think this locked the card reader as well right here. So basically, that's it. It's not too much. It doesn't too much have any ports. Most of the ports are on the back. And you do have USB-C on the side over here. So that's basically it, guys, with the ports and stuff. Not really a lot to show as far as the ports. <coughs> now, I did say that the um, that this is upgradable. So what I am going to try to do is see if I can take the back off and show you how the bottom looks without, the, without this on here. You have the vents. Now, sorry, guys, you do have the vents on the back. You have vents and you have the vents on the bottom. You got vents in the back. You have vents on the side as well. So it's supposed to give you very good airflow. So why don't I try to at least see if we can get the back off, see if we can get the back off and see how it looks on the inside. You have to remove these little screws here. You got 10 of them, which are all the same length. I use my trusty electric screwdriver. And I use this right here to get in fairly easy. Now, this is where you um, go upgrade your RAM. Now, I don't want to peel this off. Um, you know, I don't do stuff like this normally. 
So this is where your RAM go. This is where your um your SSD is. This is your I think this is your Wi-Fi card. This is your battery. This is how the cooling looks right here. And you also have an extra SSD M dot that you could slide in, so you can have more memory right there as well. So this is how the inside look. Let me get a little closer. Like I said, I normally don't do this, but looked it up and says pretty easy to get it open. So why don't we go ahead and get it closed up? Um, sorry, I know I said I was gonna close this up, but I opened it back up again because I end up getting this. I got me a 512 stick of memory SS uh, MP33 SSD for $40. I found this for $40, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can install it. So let's get to installing. All right, this is my first time ever doing this, guys, so bear with me. Well, not my first time unboxing, but you know, putting, putting this in. Okay, here we go. Okay. I'm going to kind of break it. How do I get it? Okay, there we go. Okay. All right, so here we go, guys. This is how it looks here. So now. It goes right here, but we have to take off this right here. So we're gonna use this right here, take this off. Why don't go ahead and we're gonna go in a little bit closer. Maybe get a little bit closer in. There we go. Closer in right there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this screw right here off. So we took that screw off. What we're gonna do, we're gonna stick this in here like this. Let's see if I can get it in there. Uh, hold on. To touch this stuff. Okay, let's try this again. Let's see, let's see if I can get it in there. I'm not trying to hurt it. Oh, let's get it in there. There we go. All right, guys. So it's in there, snapped in there. Put that right there. We're going to put this back on. Oh, don't want to lose that. No, don't, don't lose that. Oh God, I wanna lose that. Let's see if I can get it. I got it. Woo! Alright, let's put that back down. I'm so nervous, guys. I don't wanna break nothing. There we go. It's in there. Make sure it's tight. It's in there good tight. Yes, it's in there good tight. So there you go. Let's see if we get a little closer so you can see it. Maybe I should have got that close. I wanna drop this. So there it go. It's all in there, nice and snug. Now we have to do some extra stuff because I have to go into Disk Manager and, you know, get all that done. So what we'll do, we'll get to the Disk Manager in a moment. Let me get this back together. All right, let's get this back together, put the screws in, and we'll get to still running through its paces. Uh, the build is okay. Now, you have the lid that is made out of metal, aluminum up top. So there is a little bit of flex, as you can see, a little bit of flex, but it's really sturdy. And, but the chassis on top where the keyboard is and underneath is made of plastic. It is plastic, so there is going to be a little bit of give and flex to the keyboard. It's okay. The key travel is okay. No, no, all the Novos known for pretty decent keyboards on this ThinkPad and this Yoga line. So, you know, those are the other two lines that everybody else like. But it seems like the, the, um, the keyboard bracket right here is reinforced underneath. So that's pretty good. I can kind of feel it. So that's pretty good. So you can see that these are not speakers. 
These are air vents as well. The no sound came from here, came from the bottom firing speakers. So as we turn it around, we see that we have the air vents here. We have air vents on this side and we have air vents on this side. And we have some in the back as well. So as you see, when I open up, you've seen the cooling and everything. So pretty much, you know, is what you, you know, you're paying for a mid range to a budget friendly type of um, gaming laptop um, that you can also do some um, some Lightroom and a, and a, uh, Premiere Pro on as well and After Effects. So this is a pretty decent um, laptop. Now, you're not going to get all the bells and whistles and you're not going to have the what the, the you know the type of you know uh, what can i say the type of you know type of you know metal you know on, on body and all the bells and whistles and things like that you, you're getting much of what you're doing this is the budget to mid-range friendly so you know the type of materials made from it's made from it's not like it's one of these right here now this is my old laptop that i've had for about six maybe seven years six to seven or five to seven years. And this is right here, my Gamer Republic, Asus. And you can see that everything is made out of that premium material here. I got this for steel as well, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. They get this for steel. I, I never pay full price. So you can see that the body is, is metal. You know, you got chamfered edges, like right here. It's got the chamfered edges right here. So all the you know, bells and whistles and all that type of stuff, you know, you're not going to get on something, you know, that's going to be more budget friendly. And, you know, even with the, the vents, when you open up the, the, um, the lid, the vents open up in the back to let more vents out. Yep, it's back. So the Zephyrus is, you know, at the time, um, before I got this, it would have, um, I found it on, got a really good deal, guys. But before that deal, this would have cost you around about two grand, maybe twenty-two grand on two two thousand two hundred somewhere all around there. So this is, you know, a pretty decent, sturdy, really nice build quality. You're not going to get this kind of build quality, you know, getting a budget friendly. So you got, you know, you got to understand that. So, that's how that looked. Very guys, I it was able for the first time ever put a brand new put a brand new SSD into any laptop. I've never done that before, so you guys were the first to see it. Hopefully, I did it right. Um, but before we go into it to do the partition, and make sure it's working. We're going to go ahead and charge it up. Um, as you can see, I do have the two hundred thirty watt power supply. Now, like I said, it didn't come with the right core so they threw this in but you know when you have an open box yeah you, you know you might get mismatched stuff so like i said before as long as it work i don't care what color it is but before we do that we're gonna go ahead and get everything a good old-fashioned weigh it and see how much everything um comes out to be so right now as you can see it's on let me put it down let's turn it off let's do it again here we go. So it's, it's, it's good. So we're going we're going to put this on first. See what that is, and we see that is two pounds and seven ounces. Okay, and then we're going to put this on, and as you can see, it's four pounds and 42, 43 ounces. Sorry, guys. And we're going to put this on top, and that brings it up to seven pounds and 50 ounces so let's do it again so it brings up about seven pounds and 50 ounces so as you can see when they say this is the slim it's not that slim this is what you'll be carrying in your bag so let's go ahead and get it powered up get it charging and see how that goes so what you're gonna do you're gonna put it in here you have one two three four five you know and then you also have the two on the side. So we're going to right here. And then also, I don't know if I showed you this before, but you have all the icons to let you know what port you are using. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to put it in the right port. 
And as you can see, it's charging up. You see the white dot right there. That means there's power to it. So let's go ahead and cut this on. Let's bring it out a little bit. So we see that as we hit the button, the um, red light is on. I think it's coming on. I'm trying to get it in view so you can see that it's on. All right, as you see, it is on the red button right there, letting you know that it is charging. If I take that, if I take the charger off, goes into white as you can see but when i put the charger back on let's put it back on it turns red and then you can know it's charging there go the battery icon with the thunderbolt right there so i don't know if you can hear it the fan actually came on so everything is working like you should so there we go I'm trying to bring it in a little bit closer to y'all so you can see it so what we'll do we're gonna go ahead and test out the video how it looks i know it's gonna be hard to see on the screen and then we're gonna you know play play some um music that is you know that's free to play so, so we're gonna go ahead and play it so you can hear it is it has it has a 12th generation Core i7 processor. Um, it has system RAM 16 gigabytes. It, the graphics card is a G, a NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070. So there we go. That is just HD. Let's see if we can go to get the quality up to like 4K. I'm going to put the screen out. TI. Resolution is is uh 1920 by 1080 full HD. So the it has um a SSD. So to me it looks pretty good. The screen has some good viewing angles as well. So I do like that. So let's get to listen to some music, some royalty free music. Be I want to say be right back, but hold on. All right, guy, here go the music. Now, I think the music doesn't sound that good. The speakers are at the bottom. They're not front, fr front fr facing like some laptops are. Um, it's at the bottom. So they're right here. Let me see if I can show you real quick. Let me close this a little bit. The speakers are right there. That's one speaker. That's another speaker. So that's what the speakers are. Now, I think bottom sounding speakers look. I don't know why they didn't put it up here, but the speakers are here. I don't know if they're up here. If I'm hearing anything up here, let me see first, guys. Make sure I don't want to be wrong. Nope, they're far. They're downward facing because these are vents up here. So, I mean, you know, the sound is meh. I'm not too happy with the sound, but the screen, I do like the screen guys i do like the screen so i can go ahead and make sure we partition this um this um the ssd the new you know nvme ssd drive i get the names mixed up all right guys what you want to do okay cancel that we're going to do it one more time you're going to hit Go down here. And you're going to hit partition, PA, and that's going to come up here. This right here is going to say create and format hard drive partitions. You're going to click on that. It's going to come up already. You must utilize this before local disk manager can access it. So I say it's a GBT. We're not doing master reboot, so we're gonna say okay. And then we're going to we're 
We'll take the unallocated. It says unallocated. The one with the black. We're going to right click on it. And we're going to hit new simple volume. It's going to be new simple volume, new expanded volume, new um, um, strip volume or properties. We'll hit new simple volume. And you're going to hit next. Then the wizard comes up. It's going to say welcome to new simple volume. I'm trying to get it in focus, guys, so you can see it. So there it goes. Right here, uh, welcome to new simple volume wizard. Hit next. And uh, I'm guessing you're going to hit next. Um, it's going to be D drive. I'm going to put it as D drive because it's asked you to assign the following drive letter. So I'm going to hit D drive. I guess you can hit any type of letter you want. So I'm going to hit D drive. Hit next. And it's going to ask you file system format. So I'm just going to hit default format, allocate units at default, new volume, and I'm going to hit NTFS. I mean, you can go to the other one that's EXFAT. I'm going to keep it where, where it is. I'm going to hit it. And it's going, to, it's going to tell you have successfully completed the new simple volume wizard. Hit finish. And there it goes. My computer now sees that I have. It says healthy basic data partition. So it's healthy. So let's go ahead and got that. And then what we'll do, let's see if we can see it. Hit and let's hit um system. And we're gonna go hit storage. And let's see if we can see show more categories. I see C, where's D at? Uh, okay, I don't see it, guys. I don't see it. I see this, but I guess there's nothing on there. So I guess you can't see it. I'm trying to see it. How can I see it? Make sure it's there. Let's go here. And CPC. Okay, there we go. New volume is in is in the you have to go to the um file explorer and we'll open it all the way up. And you can see on this side here, new volume. And you can hit that and it shows this is folders empty. Okay, so it is it is showing it. So I guess I got to put something in it. Okay, so put some gaming in there or something like that. But as you can see, it is installed. So I finally got it installed. So hopefully my somewhat tutorial wasn't rough, but I bet you it was. So let's get to running through the rest of the spaces. We're going to test out these babies right here and see if they work on this all right let's try the big boy right here first put it in the first let's see as you can see uh oh it ain't, it ain't working guys big boy ain't working it comes on it goes off Maybe this is incompatible with this one. And as you can see, the charging light is coming on and off. So maybe this is not compatible. Now this does work on my Alienware and most of all the other things I have. So that's a surprise. All right, so let's see if this one can. We'll get 65 watt. And it shows it's charging up 20 volts. And as you can see, the red light is on. So this is working. Okay, this is working, guys. And let's see if the energy cube will work. 65 watt. Now, this is 100 watt right here, guys. As you can see, the light turned green. So it is charging up. Let's see. Ooh. So it is charging. So for some reason, the 100 watt, this one is not compatible. I don't know why that is. Now, like I said, this one works on everything else I have. It works on my Alienware. Um, 
It works on all of my other devices, but it doesn't work on this one. And I don't know why. It could be a, could be incompatible. But as you can see, the Energy Cube and the Mookin one works as well. Now, this is how you cut on the battle. You hit the function key and you hit the space bar and the lights will come on. Now, you could change it. They have a program in here that you could change it with, or you can hit the function key and hit it again, and it'll stop blinking. You hit the function key and hit it again. It turns it blue. Function key, hit it again. It turns it off. So you got to hit the function key a couple of times, and then you can turn it back off. So, but we're going to keep it on there. I like it like that. So that is the back light. Let's get to the video camera. Um, not the video camera, but the, you know, the conference camera or whatever you want to call it, the webcam. Let's get to the webcam. All right, guys, this is how the video camera looks. Um, the front facing camera, the conference camera, whatever you want to call it on the Legion Slim. This is a 1080p 30, I mean, 60 hertz, 30 frames per second. I don't think it looks all that good, to be honest with you guys. I think that with these gamer laptops, they should put better cameras in them. Let me show you what a better camera looks like. This is what a better camera looks like, guys. This is um, 1440, 30, 30 um, frames per second, and um, 60 hertz. So this is, I think this looks way better than the camera that actually comes on um, the computer. I think they need to do better with that. I think it should go up to 4K or at least um, 1440p. So guys um this is what a real camera look like this is my own personal camera so video camera web camera whatever you want to call it so let's get back to the regular view yo 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 i'm back everybody give you my final thoughts on a lenovo legion slim 5 2023 edition what do i think i like it guys now let's get the the stuff i don't like out the way the what is it called the the webcam suck it suck. I don't know why on laptops the webcam suck. I think if you have, you know, mid-range, maybe even budget, high budget, low mid-range, should have a very good webcam with a very good microphone. To me, it did not look good. It, it was passable. It was passable, but it should be better than that. Um, you know, you saw both qualities, and I think the second one, look far better now the the audio uh most time you're going to be using microphone that's closer to your face instead of using the one that's built into the laptop you know that's how i use it if i have to have a meeting but i don't like the webcam um another thing i don't like the, the down face of speakers i hate them the speakers sound like some garbage garbage to say it again, garbage. It was mirrored, a low mirrored, because you know, garbage. The, the speakers, the music, it, 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 it sound, it didn't sound good at all. So I think they should have had front facing speakers instead of down facing speakers. All like that. Um, but other than that, um, I liked everything else. Um, I, I like the fact that this, um, that you can get a budget to mid-range for low price now like i say get an open box if you have to be get the new you do what you can do but for those who want a decent laptop get an open box guys look for the open box they might have something that you're looking for way cheaper four to five six hundred dollars cheaper than the brand new especially if the brand new is the 24 edition and you can get away with the 20 23 edition go ahead and get last year's model or even um 2022 you can find some good you know specked out laptops for you know really good for a good price um i do like the fact that it was upgradable you saw me first time ever be upgrading my ssd and some the laptop any laptop so you know it went well you saw me do it all hopefully it wasn't as bad as I think it was, but you know that went well. Now, one thing I I, I got to find out, Dig, Dig Jazz, it did not work with my hundred watt power power bank. Maybe it's not compatible with um 
with, Len- with Lenovo, but it was compatible. It's compatible with my Alienware. It's compatible with my wife's laptop upstairs. It's compatible with everything else. So I don't know why my DigiX 100 watt power supply would not work on this, but my Move did, and the Moonkin did 65 watt work well. So you can still get it charged up. Um, you know when you're on the go. Um, anything else? Um, I want to say about it. Oh, almost forgot, guys. I don't know if you noticed. There is a little button here. I thought it was a it's a little little button right here. I thought it was a a lock for your SSD card right here, your SD card. But no, it's not. What that is, it is how you turn the camera. Um, you, it's like a you turn the camera off and on. It's like a privacy mode. Normally they have it up where the camera is, and you just slide it, and it covers the camera. No, this actually turns it off so the computer cannot access it so somebody can't get in here and while you're sitting up here you know doing your tiktok saying it like ah, they're doing all the ugly face movement that they can see you you know take over your feet and see you and then put your face on the internet and make memes out of you that's what that little button is for and it's on um the side with the sd card see i don't know if you can see it guys but it's right here so that's what that's for and I had to find out the hard way, but that's what that's for. Um, guys, I do like it. Um, is 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 you know is everything I needed without the price that it would normally come at. So guys, I can't give it a grade because I don't know how. Like I said, I'm not a a laptop finishado. I, I don't know a lot about computers. You know, as far as what speed, what's good. I know this is an AMD. Never really had an AMD one. Normally, I get Intel. So we're gonna see how the AMD, you know, how if I like AMD or not. Like AMD, I haven't played no games on it. So hopefully, within you know two to three weeks, I have to play some games on it. You know, did some edits on it. See how it worked for me and my workflow. I'll come back and let you know um, what I really think about it. But in my initial, you know, thoughts, I do like it, guys. Um, I do like it now. Like I said before, on a budget, the mid tier, you're not gonna get all the, all the metal, all the, all the machinery, all the bevels. You know, the material is gonna be plastic most of the time, and you know, maybe with uh, if you're lucky, you get a metal holding up the screen. You know, you know, get a metal frame holding up the screen. Now, one thing I will say, I do like the screen. I think the screen on this one is better than my Alienware. It looks a lot crisper, a lot cleaner. Um, on this screen, even though I use an external monitor, the screen on here is pretty, um, I like it, you know, so, um, so that's all I got to say. I know I say I'm on a lot, but I'm trying to figure out my thoughts, um, trying to be organic. I don't hardly write anything down. Maybe I should, you know, as I move on, but I do like it, guys. Um, what do you think of Lenovo? Do you like Lenovo? Do you don't like Lenovo? Do you like Alienware better? What brand of laptop do you like hey guys before we go please do me a favor please like share and subscribe let's say that one more time please like share and subscribe and please give us thumbs up the more thumbs up we get and the more you share this video with somebody the deeper in the youtube algorithm we can go and the more people that will see you know the video so do me a favor please like share and subscribe give us a thumbs up guys another thing i want to say the, the battery is rated for I think eight, eight point two, eight point five hours. Now I don't know how that's going to go in real world, um, but I know once you take it off the battery, you unplug the battery, um, it defaults down to like a, a balance mode, or a, you can have it default down to a to lower than a balance mode, the power saver mode. And I might stretch out the battery life a little bit. So um, again. I don't do all those tests. There's other channels out there that's way better than me. You know, you could give you down to how many hours they ran the YouTube video for and all that stuff. So, guys, um, do me a favor. Please hit the notification um, as the bell, the icon, the bell, so you'll be notified. Anytime we drop a brand new video. Yet again, this is your boy, the Ghettoographer, aka Pastor Ted, thanking you for rocking out with me on another unboxing video. Guys, hopefully this unboxing video wasn't too long. And guys, we have some more unboxing coming soon. So please, again, hit the notification bell so you can be 
Notify anytime we drop a new video. You have a good day. Peace.